Well, we're getting further into the year. I want to talk about um, training today. I'm not training today. Uh, my last workout, I was doing front squats, which, like I said before, I don't have a rack. I don't really want one. Might I might change that. I don't know. But, yeah, I can clean whatever I can clean. And then I did that with push-ups. And I clearly spelled out that the reason I was doing push-ups is because of, because of a back injury. Um, so let's discuss training. All right. Now, I remember some gal who, uh, who was a karate. She would go functional training, which I think is a ridiculous term because you don't need functional training, but you don't need the second word because that's what training is. It's, it's according to a function, right? So it was one extra word. The woman didn't even understand the word. So I, I don't even know who, who she is. She's so someone I knew in Fresno. Anyway, so let's go through the basic terms real quick. Okay, there's just like you go for a walk. Technically, that's not necessarily exercise. So if you're if you're walking down... If I'm walking down to my car, then technically that's me going to my car. That's not exercise. Exercise is a planned event. All right, at least if you planned it maybe a few minutes before, you go, I think I'm going to go for a walk. Somewhere in that line, you had it in your mind, you're going to go for a walk. Even if it was a couple of minutes before that, it's still a plan, right? You have a planned event, right? Um... And I think it needs to be of a certain duration to count or a certain intensity level, right? But that's not as important because if you're doing anything physically, that constitutes exercise, right? And exercise, now this is according to Mark Ripito of starting strength. If you want to learn about training, then Rex, Rex, Mark Ripito, R-I-P-P-E-T-O-E, Starting strength, either one of them, you can put Mark Ripito or starting strength into your Google and he'll come up. All right? He's fat now, but the dude, the dude knows what he's doing. And you can find videos of him when he was fat doing, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 pull ups in a row. You see him doing squats with a bunch of plates. I think it was over like. 350, 400 down, he did, he did like 20 reps, 10 reps. I don't know. The guy could bring it. The guy could bring it. So he knows what he's talking about, and he's trained people for 40 years in his, in his gym in Wichita. So, and, and lots of people, not just athletes, regular people. He says he'd rather train your, the athletes. He'd rather tra train Tom Brady's mother than Tom Brady. He likes to train people and take people from a weak point to get them strong. He likes to take an old woman who could barely, who couldn't even lift the bar and get her to where she can lift weight on the bar. That's what she, he, so that's what he does. Okay, so I, I took it aside. So he's discussing exercise. He says exercise only affects you that day, right? Well, training means, I had always thought that training means, and this may be a more technical term, Okay, because I have a point to differ, but training means you're in a sport and you have a specific um, thing you're going to do. So these guys that take that umbrella, I mean, not that umbrella, that take a parachute and run with the parachute against the resistance. So later on when they run without the resistance, they'll run favorite. That's training. If a sprinter goes and does... Uh, front squats or back squats or deadlifts or power cleans, then he's trying to build explosiveness for his event. Whether that's effective or not, I'm not quite, I'm not telling you which one's the most effective. I'm only saying that by that definition is, is training. Maybe you'd have to say sports specific training because I don't know the words. There may be another word in another language or maybe I'm missing something. That's fine. But you understand the point, right? All right. Now, for people like me and people who are not athletes who want to get better, right, who want to be better than what they are now, then that's your training. If you're doing something that's going to make you better 
in the future, and it's effective in doing that, you are training, right? So even me, I'm a grocery handler, right? So if I do a deadlift or a squat or a bench press, any of that type of stuff, that has a tendency to increase my strength so I can do my job better. And when I'm doing that, I am training, okay? That's what it means. Now, let's talk about what's effective. Now, we're, we talk about it in training. We talk about the, uh, what is this called? The lowest, the lowest dose, or the lowest effective dose, all right? The lowest effective dose, all right? So, if you, if I went in here and did a deadlift for one rep, right? If I did one rep and I deadlifted 45 pounds, that would have no real effect on me. None. I lifted the bar empty. That would have no effect. Now, if I did a rep with 300 pounds, for me, I mean, there's athletes, if they did a 300 pound dead, that that wouldn't affect them at all. It'd be just like 45 for me. But I'm just talking about four me. If I did a 300 pound deadlift with one, that might be the most effective thing I could do, period. I don't know. Now, if I hurt my back, then I don't think that would be effective. All right, so what you're saying here is you want to go to the point where you're not being injured. Now, if you're going to be at a, at a world championship, yeah, you need to push that up to that as close as you can. Because studies have done, there's nothing more effective, uh, effective increasing your strength than a single. All right? Now, if your goal is to be a bodybuilder, and you want to increase that and get your muscles bigger and, and induce what they call hypertrophy, then you want to do more reps. That's why the other day I said that's why push-ups are the most popular bodybuilding exercise ever because that tends to pump you up. Um, but in my now, I've seen pictures of guys who said they do a hundred push-ups. 300 and they show the I don't know I don't know if they got to a certain point and they don't because you can only go so far with a push-up you can only go so far you can only go so far with 15 reps it's limited right so I don't know different people react differently because my entire lifting life I would I don't I'm not gonna say career because I'm not lifting for my career I'm lifting to lift. My entire lifting life, my I have never really done a program with more than like eight reps, ever. I don't do more than eight. I don't. And I don't remember the last time I did eight reps. I, I've looked my records. I don't do it. I do something. I'm sorry. Take that back. I do some kind of hit training where I'm doing, uh, where I do like 200 reps, but that's to get my... Uh, cardiovascular system and to burn fat okay if you want to get stronger if you're saying doing 15 reps you're wasting your time you are completely wasting your time all right so all right so the rep range is important now if you're doing barbell curls for one or two in my opinion that's not going to get it because you're not using you're using a small muscle i mean if you're a if you're a arm wrestling person, or you're a in that, and you're in the and there, and you're in a competition where you're doing a one rep for your uh, for your curl, or you just want to walk around and show all the girls your arm, yeah, that's a purpose for that, right? That's a purpose. That's fine. But if you want to be an athlete, you need to do athletic training, athlete athletic type training. So that would be your power cleans. Your deadlift, your squats, bench press, press, you know. And with barbells, there's other stuff you can do as far as other things. But I, I, know, I just know about barbells. And all those machines and all that. It's a waste of time. If you want to make it, you've got to pick up a barbell. Period. Okay? So we just covered a little bit. We're coming at 10 minutes. So I don't know if you got this far. If you did, thank you.